This is my friend Brian. Hey. As we've been on vacation for the past couple days, I actually promised one of you that I would make a video. So the reason I'm here with Brian here today is we both wanted to get stuff done during February vacation. Now, correct. The first two days I spent pretending to do work. We talked on a Tuesday evening. Uh, why don't we? Well, why don't I come show up at your house like real early in the morning? So I did that, and I got like exponentially more things done simply by having <laughs> someone in the room that was working on didn't have to be the same thing, uh, but just working on something. I think we called it the uh, accountability buddy. What I was working on was turning this into an audiobook. Uh, I've been taking a class and applying for some teaching positions. Also, uh, I've been working with uh, a, a small business doing some kind of technical support. I've, I've, I've been a busy bee, but it's, sometimes it's hard to get all the things done when you uh, uh, when you're the only one when, holding you. Yeah, when you're the only one holding yourself to the fire, it's a little, maybe a little difficult. But it's definitely much more helpful. So I've, I've been very uh, grateful to have you on the other side of the table. It seems like you've gotten a lot of work done. Well, yeah. how, how much would you say you've been able to do in the last couple of days? Let's see. Well, uh, so I have my recording studio uh, at home. And, um, <laughs> and so I've been recording the audio to the book at home. And then I think I started with... Normally it takes me somewhere between five to like 105 minutes for any given audio. It depends on um, how poorly I did it. Uh, but I think yesterday, eight different, um, cutting eight audio files, <coughs> which we still got a bit off task, but at least like we're bonding over it instead of just yeah. like... Uh, feeling feeling sad that you're <laughs> not, not being productive. Yeah, like at home I, I would just end up playing like video games on my phone or something. That doesn't really benefit anybody. Maybe the company that yeah, made game, but... Yeah, but... So, uh, why, why do you think that having a an accountability buddy it is helpful? Um, how do you think people could do this maybe in, in a more general way in their own lives? Um, and how do you see yourself doing this more in the future? One of the chapters that I recorded uh, called Stop Shitting on Yourself um, talks about when we have a case of the shoulds where we want to be doing something more, maybe it's art, maybe we want to be writing, maybe we want to be doing homework or learning or something, um, and we find ourselves doing things that we're not terribly proud of or maybe we're embarrassed by. Um, so accountability buddies are, it, it's an opportunity to meet up with someone that is trying to accomplish something. Sometimes you can, you don't have to be present, like physically present with um, someone to be an accountability buddy. Um, one of the things I've done before is calling someone up uh, when I start or calling them up when I'm done or when I'm taking a break or just texting saying like, hey, I'm planning, I'm working from uh, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. I'm planning on doing this and I'll text you halfway through to let you know um, how much I've accomplished and what I might need to do to change it. So it's like... You can almost have like a, a text group yeah. of people that, especially, I mean, if, especially if you knew you were all doing different things, it was like a blast text. Yeah. I, I wonder I wonder if there's like a website or like other... There probably are. I would imagine. Or something. You're like, yeah, what's up, random stranger? I'm doing this. They're like, sweet. <laughs> high five. Because I mean, like, I guess you could have a chat bot do that. But I guess it would be nice to have a human. Yeah. I know there are apps out there where uh, there are anti-Trump uh, supporters. John and, and his wife, she kept saying that she was going to do something. I think it was like audition to become an actress or something. And uh, cool. I didn't know she was. And uh, <laughs> so he said, "You won't do it." And she's like, "Yeah, yeah, I will." She's like, "He's like, yeah, put money on it." And and so they found this app where anytime she did not do something she promised to, she had to donate money to the Trump oh. um, campaign. Then, which that's a major motivator when you have someone holding you to account and mm. you have to pay for it by giving to someone you don't like. I, I heard about someone doing that with, for whatever reason, they didn't like Oprah. Anytime they smoked cigarettes, they had to like donate a hundred dollars to Oprah, and they just hated Oprah. So, yeah. Do you want to? If you want to send a hundred dollars to me, um, I, I could, I'll leave it in the comments. Below yeah, yeah, you can, you can send them a, a Patreon pay, or yeah, Venmo or a, a something. Venmo. <laughs> So what are the things uh, that you guys are doing out there? Maybe it's uh, you want to be creating a YouTube channel. Maybe you want to be writing, painting, sculpting, getting job applications out, making some kind of money selling stuff. I don't know. Who, whatever it is that you want to be doing out there, this is one of the best ways to get things done. This is what we're here for. Well, maybe uh, people could uh, 
leave in the comments below uh, if they're looking for an kind of buddy buddy and you could find someone that way. Stay weird.